as you can see, France has some amazing places. This is the very attractive small town of Saint-Flour in the ancient volcanic region of Auvergne. The local cuisine is very hearty. Lentils are very popular, but the great speciality of the region is the delicate charcuteries. In the hilltop village of Pierrefort, I meet Yves Geoffroy, who makes the most incredible traditional small goods. So, Monsieur Geoffroy is a fifth generation charcutier. They go to the farms to buy their own, uh, their own pig and then transform it themselves into pork. And they like uh, pigs that are uh, old, that have uh, been fed slowly with natural food. And they like their pigs to be big because they think that slow food is better. It has got more flavor. Here we are in a dryer. It's a special dryer because it is dried with the air from outside. Uh, we are at 1,000 meters height, so it's very good to keep everything in order. And that produces some of the best salami, saucisson, in France. We're really privileged to be in this room. This is where the ham is maturing. It is, it is a dryer. Uh, the, the ham stay there for, for one year. Uh, before that, it has been salted with some spices. It has been rubbed with some wine, so it's a little bit of a secret. And then it has been uh, dried at cool temperature before bringing them here. And during that process, they lose about half of their weight. And I can tell you at the end, the result is fabulous. The local speciality of slow-cooked salted pork with lentils is popular all over France. It is also one of top French chef Philippe Mouchel's favorite dishes. Great salt. He generously wraps some salt over a piece of pork belly and seasons with pepper and thyme, and wraps in plastic film and refrigerates for half a day. He then places the salted pork in the pot with one onion pierced with a clove, two cloves of garlic, one or two carrots, a small piece of leek and a bouquet garni, and covers with water and simmers for two to three hours until cooked. He cooks two chopped shallots in a little pork fat along with 80 grams of diced bacon and stirs. Then he adds about one and a half cups of drained lentils that have just been boiled in water for two minutes. He covers with chicken stock, adds a little chopped garlic and a bouquet garni and cooks until soft. Philippe likes to add a little butter to the cooked lentils. He serves the lentils on a plate top with a few slices of pork and garnish with a few carrots. J'adore ce plat d'hiver, le petit salé aux lentilles, soit avec une vinaigrette aux herbes ou alors avec de la moutarde. This is a wonderful cheese cellar in the region of Auvergne where 2000 Cantal cheeses are maturing and tomorrow we are going to discover how those cheeses are made.